Okay, so I said I'd do this video to try and show uh, these massage techniques and also uh, my own personal technique for uh, helping soothe baby um, and if nothing else it, it'll help um, stop baby screaming. Now I have elected not to uh, not to disturb the girls because uh, they've just had a feed and it's probably not the best time to do this for them. So I've decided instead to use this little Santa doll. Ho 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 ho. So Santa is going to be my baby. Now the first technique for re uh, or the first massage technique which is one of two that uh, that we were shown in the uh, special care baby unit, the American equivalent being the NISU, um, is it's a very very simple one. You may also you may already have been doing it without realizing it, uh, but I'm going to show you anyway. So this is basically one hand, left or right hand, it doesn't matter. I'm left-handed, so I'll, I'll use my left hand, and literally, if, if we if we put belly button about here, literally hand around the belly button. You can use three fingers, you can use four fingers, it's up to you. But literally, you're looking to go to the side, all the way to the side of the belly, around, just just around the belly area. You don't need to go any lower than that. So, but you don't have to remove baby's nappy, that's, that's okay. And literally round and round. Literally just like this. Just around the belly button. You know, you just tether you almost you almost tether your hand to the baby's belly button, and then you do the, uh, the 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 bicycle motion, which I'm sure I'm sure if you don't know it, you, you can figure it out. Basically, you move the legs as if they were as if they were riding a bike. So it's so it's one knee up, then the other knee up, then one knee up, and so on and so forth, and you do both of those two exercises about ten times. Now the second one. Uh, which we were also taught in the special care baby unit um, at Calderdale in Halifax. Um, it's called the Sun and the Moon. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, but I'm going to try and position the camera so that I can hold it because it, it requires two hands as opposed to one. So basically, it's it's very very similar to the first one. So you'll have one hand here and one hand th this side, and this is called the Sun and the Moon. So we've got the Sun here and we've got the Moon here, and basically. You're going to do the same as you did before, but it's going to be both hands round and round. Like that. Exactly the same principle as the first time, but this time this time you, you literally, you, you're massaging with both hands. Now remember, when you use this technique, um, you need to have some form of oil on baby's belly. Um, baby oil is good, baby lotion is good, virgin, uh, uh, virgin olive oil is good. But some sort of lubrication, not much, just enough that your hand will glide. Because that's what you want. You don't want to be rubbing baby's skin and irritating it. You want it to, ha to glide. Also, for you ladies out there that are using uh, jewellery uh, or false nails, remove it. Remove it all because we all know how delicate baby's skin is. And it's very, very, very sensitive. And it's probably best to err on, uh, on the side of caution and remove it so that you don't hurt baby because the whole purpose of this is is to help baby not to hurt baby so that's the first technique um those two are both endorsed by various special care baby units here in the uk um you may also find information on these in your own in your own special care unit or your nice um you may even find that your local your local unit has um, has classes to teach this. Um, if they do, I highly recommend it. It's useful to know. It's very very handy. Um, I will try when I post this uh, to post some links, maybe to um, to sort of visual representations as well, so that you can see it. Um, I make no promises. Doing the best I can, best with what I've got. Um, Unfortunately, if, if my son was still here, I would, this would be a heck of a lot better because he does lots of videos. Um, the second technique is my own personal technique. Um, now, we're going to assume that Santa is laying on mummy or daddy for this. So, just pretend this, this lovely towel here, this fantastic towel that was probably really, really cheap. Uh, just pretend that, 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 that that's mummy. Uh, that, that, that that's mummy. Okay. 
Um, I'll try and do this from, from my angle as well, but I can't promise that it's going to work because, well, I'm filming it and narrating it, and, and I'm not very good at either. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take two fingers. Now, it doesn't matter left or right hand. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing left hand because I'm left-handed. But you literally just, just two fingers, that's all you need. And there's, gonna, there's a seam that runs right down the middle here. Uh, you probably can't see it. Come in a bit closer, you can. But this, we're going to imagine that this is baby's spine. This is the, this, this is the nape of baby's neck. I know Santa doesn't have a neck, but let's, let's just use our imagination here, ladies. Um, so two fingers, and literally you start at the base of the neck. You don't, you don't want to be going up to the head. You don't want to be going any higher than the base of the neck. And the two fingers literally around the edge of the spine. You never you don't stroke the spine because that's too that's too too much too much input for baby. And if you get too close and you start rubbing up and down the spine, the chances are baby will arc her back or his back. Um, I'm gonna use her because I have girls. Um, if she does that, it, it, it's too much, it's too sensitive, so revert. Be, be, just, just, just become aware that it's just around the spine. You should, you, with this finger here, as you, as you're coming up, you should, you should just, you feel the tip of the spine, and as you're coming down, with this finger here, your driving finger, that should also just feel the spine, and in a circular motion, it can be clockwise, it can be counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. It's, it's whatever your preference is. I do clockwise because, well, I do clockwise. Now, if you go too far this way or this way, the chances are baby will also arc her back. Um, she's telling you that she doesn't like it. It's it, it's too much input for baby. So again, just just revert back. It it, it takes a little practice, um, but once you get it, it, it'll just become second nature. And and this is a great massage technique for um, for wind. It can help with wind because it helps to relax baby or baby's muscles relax. The duodenum relaxes and it allows wind to pass through. Um, it's great for hiccups. It's fantastic for that. If you if you can get it right, you you can usually cure hiccups in about ten minutes with this. Um, because again, baby relaxes, breathing becomes more regular, and, and that's essentially what a hiccup is. It's it's something's disrupted the flow of breathing. Um, it can also help soothe baby. Um, and if you're doing this with with what they call kangaroo care, which is skin to skin, um, not recommended really for dads to do skin to skin, only because if dad has a hairy chest, it can irritate baby. Um, if dad doesn't have a hairy chest, by all means, knock yourself out. Sometimes I think dads do this a little bit better because we tend to have, um, as men, we tend to have rougher fingers, and, and and that tends to sort of provide a little bit more in the way of um, stimulus, if you will, rather than smooth hands. Um, but it it works for either. It's it's a technique that, that that's never failed me. I've I've had six children now. It's never failed me, so we'll just try. We'll we'll try and do this from from sort of uh, this this point of view. I don't know how well this will come out because I'm holding. But so then again, two fingers, just up and down the spine, literally to the top of the uh, to, to the base of the neck, and then down to the coccyx, which is the base of the spine. Uh, if you've got the nappy here, that's fine. Just just go down as far as the uh, as, as far as the the edge of the nappy, and then back up again. And literally just try and stick to, to, to that area. Don't don't deviate too far this way. Don't deviate too far this way, and and avoid the spine. Um, and you'll be fine, hopefully. So I'll try and do something with this. Uh, get this up. Uh, slap it on YouTube because it's probably a bit too long for Facebook, and Facebook has enough of my information as it is. Um, so I'll get it on there. I'll get a link posted to the group. Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you have. You know, by all means, share it around, pass it on. Let's you know, let's see if we can help as many mums as we possibly can. Um, if I can offer any more advice, by all means, you can either message me through the group, you can either direct message me on Facebook. I don't mind. Um, you'll know where to find me, hopefully. Um, and that's that, really. So yeah, hope this helps, and uh, best of luck to you.